Okay, so now we'll talk about playing seventh chords in other keys. All right, before you can do this, you have to be able to play regular scales and chords. Uh, we're dealing mostly with major scales, but we'll soon get into minor scales, and likewise, you have to play, be able to play mostly major chords, but soon minor chords as well. So let's take D major and, and D minor as an example. So here's a D scale. And D minor, natural minor. And D chords. minor and so on. Now there are a couple of ways that I could explain how to figure out what a D7 is. So I want to try this way first. Um, I want to talk about major thirds. Um, we're talking about an interval here. Um, major and minor thirds. And I'll try to explain what that is. So, when you play a D scale, the first note is D, and the third note is F sharp. If you play the D and F sharp together, that's called a major third. Um, all right, and if you play uh, a, a D minor, a D, a D and, a, and uh, a D minor scale, the first and third notes, they are D and F. So that's a minor third. Now notice that a minor third is three semitones. A semitone is this to the next note, and then, and then. So that's three semitones from the top from the bottom to the top of a minor third. A major third is four semitones. One, two, three, four. So that's a major third and that's a minor third. Okay, so when I played in the last video, when I played a G7 chord, I could have said that the added note, the fourth note, was a minor third higher than the top note of the G chord. So uh, the G chord is a triad, like this. So here's the D, and the added note was a, a third higher, a minor third higher than this top note of the G chord. So there th are three semitones. Okay, so here's the G7 chord. All right. So let's apply what we've learned here to figuring out other seven chords. So take D7. So what's the top note of a D chord? It's A. So if you play a major third, if you play a major third with your thumb on A and your third finger on the third note of the A scale, you're gonna play that. That's a major third. But if you play a minor third, it's gonna be that. So if I put the D chord here and add the, the new note, that's a D7, okay? So likewise, um, if I play an F chord and then I play a minor third higher than that note, I'll play that note, so that's an F7. And if I play a C, a C chord and play a minor third higher than that note, that's a B flat. So it's here C7. And if I play an A chord, an A7, I'll play A chord. And then a minor third higher than that note is G. So I'll, that's A7. Okay. 
So I hope you understand that and that's all I'll do in this video. And then in the next video we'll talk about um, chord progressions and one of the chords in the progression is a seven chord. That's why I'm doing all of this first.